Hi guys, welcome back to TP Did It. So today I'm coming at you with three super easy snack recipes which are very delicious and they're under 5 minutes. So let's begin. So the first one is the twin parfait. This is one of my absolute favorites. So for this you're going to need some sort of a cereal. I'm using muesli. You need two flavorings. I'm using strawberry and pineapple crush. And then for the dry fruits I'm using almonds, raisins and cranberries. I'm also using some chocolate. This is a centerful chocolate. You can omit this or you can use any chocolate of your choice. Now for the yogurt, you can directly go out and get the Greek yogurt or the flavored Greek yogurt, but I made hunkered at my own place and then I'm just adding in the flavorings. You're just going to mix them all up well and you're done with your own homemade Greek flavored yogurt. Now I'm just going to take my muesli and to that I'm going to add my dry fruits and my chocolate. Now comes the easiest part you just need to assemble it all up and make it look pretty. So I'm adding one yogurt layer at the bottom and on top of that I'm going to add fruits. Now you can use whatever fruit you like. I'm going to be using mangoes because I had loads of them and I love mangoes. So I'm going to add mangoes next. And after this I'm going to flatten the layer of the mangoes a little bit but make sure that they're still visible because because it makes it look next level pretty. So now I'm going to add the third and finally the dry fruits layer. And you're done. Your super easy homemade parfait is done and it's super delicious and trust me guys you have to try it once. Now my next recipe is mango salsa on crackers and it's very very easy. So for this in a bowl I'm going to add in the red onions. I've chopped them really fine. After that I'm going to add in chopped up fine finely chopped up green bell peppers, some finely chopped green chili, mangoes, some salt, some finely chopped coriander leaves, some pepper and finally some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now I'm going to mix that all up well and you're done with mango salsa. Now for the crackers I'm using these crackers by Britannia. I feel that they work very well because they have a very neutral flavor but you can use any crackers for example Monaco. Now I'm just going to put my salsa on top and you're done. I would recommend that you serve this right away. The next one is cucumber and cheese bites. Uh this is a very refreshing recipe. So for this I'm taking a small cucumber, I'm dividing it into two and I'm scooping out all the seeds using a spoon. Now be careful because cucumber is a little fragile kind of a vegetable. Now I'm going to make the cheese filling. For that I'm using this uh Britannia's cheese spread. This is the garlic flavor. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and to that I'm going to add a little bit of milk. I made a little mistake here that I took it at a uh, refrigerated temperature, but I would recommend that you keep the cheese spread for a little while outside so that it's going to be easier mixing it. it's going to take a little time uh, but if you use it at room temperature it's going to happen really quick so when i'm done with that i'm going to add my uh, pepper then i'm going to add in finely chopped up tomatoes and some cabbage i felt that these neutral flavored uh, vegetables will do good so you can add whatever you like and then i'm going to add some pizza seasonings these are the normal pizza seasonings 
and then I'm just gonna add uh, mix them all up together and I'm gonna fill my cucumbers with it So now I've cut the cucumbers up and they're very nice and bite-sized pieces. You can use toothpicks and I would recommend serving them right away. Uh, otherwise the cucumbers tend to get a little soggy. So you're done. Your three snacks are ready.